Xbox is getting very aggressive. Microsoft is getting very aggressive in the gaming space, in the AI space. They are officially creating their own custom chips. And they're all about AI. And you might think to yourself, well, of course, they have, they run servers. They have Azure. Um, in fact, Sony, Sony has uh, partnered with them on some of their servers for cloud-based stuff. Of course, of course, they're going to do this. But I don't think... It can be understated how important this is and, and where this how this will affect gaming, how this could affect gaming in the future. It's mind boggling. Uh, Xbox, Microsoft is a powerhouse because they're going to be able to have this synergy here. They're going to be able to take one thing that powers their their cloud, their AI services that they're really jumping headfirst into and it's going to benefit everyone else in you know under the Microsoft umbrella including gaming including Microsoft so first and foremost we're not going to read through this article let me just summarize it here real quick this is uh, from Tom Warren at The Verge definitely make sure you go check it out it's all about the chips basically there's two new chips that Microsoft has developed and they're built specifically for cloud and AI purposes and they're much more efficient they're faster they can handle more. They're built specifically, again, for cloud and AI in mind. So what does this mean for gaming? Let's take the AI route first. AI integration in game, right? The capabilities of these chips could leave to, could easily lead to more advanced AI in games themselves. Think, think smarter NPCs. Think smarter side missions. Think realistic game environments that AI is developing for you on the fly, dynamic and involving gameplay. Right. It could revolutionize the way that Xbox develops their games. It could revolutionize the way that Xbox that we interact with Xbox games. It's really the really it's limitless here when we're talking about AI and what these chips mean from AI. Now, Xbox owning these chips from the bottom to the top means that these could be built in such a way and the Xbox could be built in such a way to take full advantage of them to just be super efficient. Uh, and improve our gaming experience overall. Just on the AI integration in games alone, I think this is game changing. But we're not even talking cloud gaming. This, since these chips are built for for the cloud specifically, we could definitely see cloud gaming improvements. Cloud gaming is something that works right now. Xbox Cloud Gaming, it's there. It's okay, but it's not. It's not to this point where there's going to be mass market adoption of it. It's just not. It's not as as good as gaming on a console right in front of you. Could we get closer to that with this? We indeed could. We could, right? High quality gaming could become more accessible on your phone, for instance. It could become more accessible on the fly, on a bus, as you're, you know, as you're traveling, which would be absolutely huge. That's the potential that this move has for Microsoft as a whole, for Xbox as a whole. When we think about Xbox, we think about the console wars, we think about video games, but there's so much more that goes into it than just that, which is why, in my mind, again, we've said it before, we'll, I'll say it again, the Activision Blizzard acquisition means so much more in the gaming space than just hey now xbox owns these owns these game company it's a signal it's a signal that xbox is all in on gaming this is is a back-end support to that attitude to that all in on gaming look how much money there is to be made in the gaming space in this new realm of entertainment that we're just barely scratching the surface of so these chips gave it a, a ultimately a competitive edge, right? Microsoft could could have a huge edge over PlayStation, a huge edge over Nintendo, because in fact, when when cloud gaming was first talked about, Sony actually had to go to Microsoft to use its Azure infrastructure for its cloud gaming services. Xbox makes these more efficient. X Xbox makes these better. They're the only game in town. I mean, it just it's just huge. It's a unique selling point for future Xbox consoles. Um, it's 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 absolute absolutely huge. We're talking cost efficiencies here as well. We can't even take that. When everything's in house, you don't longer have to go and get your stuff from NVIDIA. Also, they did talk about this in the article was supply chains. Xbox really wants to diversify its supply chains. I think COVID taught a lot of companies a lot of things, and that was hey, you should have diversify, you know diversified supply chain xbox owning these xbox being able to control where they're made how they're made uh you know preventing any supply chain chain interruption in the future is only going to be good imagine how much xbox is able to sell um and their other products when if you know supply chain interruption supply chain interruptions come and they're able to keep pumping these out 
No problem. Uh, the other thing is with they control their own chip, they're not limited to what someone else is designing, which means that we could see faster innovation cycles here with the Xbox going forward, with Game Pass going forward, with game development going forward. Each of the game studios, I would imagine, is going to take advantage of this technology that comes from this um, and could speed up game development entirely. Overall, I think this is a big deal. Uh, I really do. I, and I'm not, and this is me, I'm a layman. I'm not a technical guy, I'm a gamer, but I see this as directly related to Xbox and how it can directly benefit Xbox. I would love to know what you guys think though. For those of you who are more technical savvy than me that maybe understand exactly what this means, am I missing stuff? Am I missing some benefits here from Xbox creating these two chips? Now, these are both Series 100 and that's something that this article points out, which means that they're working on version 200 already. I mean, when you look at the the last company to do this was Apple that made their own chip inside uh, the Apple M1, M2, M3. You saw the Apple computers and their power and their speed just take off because now they could control everything. I think that's what you're going to see here with Microsoft going forward. It makes sense for them to make their own chips, and I think it's going to have a very positive effect on gaming and gamers and Xbox, and I think... <laughs> I think we're talking about levels here, everybody. And I think Xbox is, honestly, am I an Xbox fanboy? Of course I am. That's why you're here. You're a fanboy as well. We're together in this. We both love Xbox, uh, Xbox games. It's what we grew up on. But it feels like they're operating at a whole other level. They're from top to bottom taking this synergistic approach to gaming. They're all in on gaming. Not that these were made specific, specifically for gaming. I'm not saying that at all. They obviously have servers. They're they're jumping in all in on AI, as is every tech company at the moment. It's pretty obvious why. It's only going to be benefit us going forward. Pro productivity times, speed, imagination, idea, ideation, what you're able to do with it. But... It just seems like everything's coming together and, and gaming for Xbox, the gaming department uh, side of Microsoft, the arm is is going to benefit from this hugely. Would love to know what you guys think. My name is X1 The Gamer. Again, I'm not a tech guy. I'm just a gamer. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what I missed when I didn't hit on where I'm wrong. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. My name is X1 The Gamer. I've said that like four times now. Stop saying I'm X1 The Gamer, guys. <laughs> Subscribe to this channel. If you love hanging out, talking about gaming, I'm going to be doing more. We drop videos like this all the time. It's basically a daily, you know, quick podcast, podcast, podcast-esque style video for you guys. That's where we'll end it today. Have a good one, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.